One of the questions coming in is, how would you choose between the eSIM or the iSIM as you take your pick of the connectivity form factor you need? So uh, size-wise, the cost and the power consumptions, these are one of the benefits by adopting the eSIM technology. On top of that, what we can expect more might be like the process change. So currently, in the case of like eSIM and the customer or like OEMs try to purchase the module from the different supply chain and from the operator side like us, they will try to purchase the eSIM physically. But in the case of the world of the iSIM technology, the SIM profile itself is already pre-installed inside the module. And also there will be no physical SIM anymore. So in that case, what in a customer like OEM has to do is just purchase the module with the iSIM embedded and the pre-installed version, which will be more beneficial to try to optimize the whole supply chain wise. And also the like a kitting process will be more optimized in the end. We're basically seeing iSIM as an evolution from eSIM, both from a performance perspective and from a kind of a new form factor perspective. Mm -hmm. And both should be part of any kind of customer portfolio, different use cases, different needs, but ultimately interoperable between each technology.